Hello guys, in this video we will understand how we can select specific rows and columns from a pandas data frame. Okay, so for that sake I have created a sample data frame using a python list here. So this is how a pandas data frame looks like. So we have three rows and three columns in total. So now if we want to see total how many columns are there and what are those names, we can just use df dot columns. So it will give us a list of columns and these are the index for the columns. Okay. So I'll tell you more about the index in my next videos, but uh, just think that these are our column index and these are our row index. Okay. So 0, 1, 2 are our row indices, roll number, name, result. These are our specified column indices. Okay. So now let's see if we want to select only one column. We can say df of, let's say we want to select only roll number, right? We can say df of roll number. So we will be able to get this. What if we want to select more than one column? So in that case, we have to pass in a list of columns that we want to display. It. So it will be roll number. So suppose I want to display roll number and name. Okay. So I need to pass in the list and then I will be able to get those two columns from the data frame. So what happens if I do not pass more than one column in the list? So what happens? I'll tell you. So roll number. In this case, I am just specifying the two column names without list. Okay. So you see here, it says key error. So it actually tries to find a column named roll number comma name. Okay. So this actually, it actually thinks that this as a whole is a column and I want to return this particular column. But when it tries to search for that in this particular data frame, it will not find that. Instead, it will find only roll number and name separately, but it will not be able to find these two together. So that's why you are getting it as a key error. Okay, hope that's clear. So if you want to select more than one column, you need to specify that in a list. Okay, so then you will be able to get it, get the required columns. So what happens if you specify one column within a list? So no problem, it will still fetch that particular column, but it will return as a data frame this time. Okay. So earlier, it just returned a panda series object. And if we enclose a single column in a list, it will return as a pandas data frame. Okay. So this is how we can access columns. What, uh, what if we need to access the rows? So for that, let me just have the data frame displayed over here. So let's say if I want to just access zero row here. So for that, we will make use of something called as loc and iloc. Okay. So it is loc and iloc. So loc stands for location, iloc stands for integer location. Okay. So let's see them in action one by one. So first loc. Okay. So df dot loc. If I want to fetch the first row, that is the row indexed at zero, I need to specify that particular index here. Okay. So zero. So this will return me the first row. And the this will be roll number name result are our column names. And 120 ABC pass are our values for that particular row associated with those particular columns. So this is how we can fetch one row at a time using loc. What if we want to fetch multiple rows? So for that you can use df dot loc zero to Let's say I want to fetch first two rows. So I can say 0 to 1. It will display me first two records. One thing, one important thing to keep in mind here is that both the indices here are inclusive. So this is called as actually slicing. So you have already learned this in NumPy or list where we use slice and dice methods, right? So this is just slicing a pandas data frame along the rows. Okay. So with loc, loc attribute. So loc and iloc are actually the attributes or also called as indexings, indexers. Okay. So this loc and iloc differs in a way that loc takes the location that is specified in the data frame. Iloc takes the location always of integer type. Okay. So I'll tell you uh, more about iloc when I start to explain about that. Okay. Now we have seen that we can slice the data frame along the rows using the 
common slicing method. So here I have done df dot low zero to one. I need to start from zero. I need to end at one. And important thing to remember, as I told earlier, both these indices will be inclusive. So I will get the row at index zero. I will also get the row at index one. So if I if I want to get the rows zero to two, okay, index zero to two. What I have to do? Zero. I have to say df dot loc. So let me write it below. df dot loc zero to two. So I'll get the first three records from that particular data frame. So this is how you get the rows. How you can select the rows from the data frame. So let's say I want to select first row from this data frame and then only row number. So how I can do that? So I can do it like this: df dot loc of zero comma roll number so it's small n now i'll get roll number at zeroth row roll number at zeroth row which is 120 so this is the exact index so if you think this as a matrix now we are we are trying to refer to the value present at location zero roll number which is 120 okay so if i say df dot loc of 1 comma roll number it will fetch me 121 so df of df dot loc of 1 comma roll number so where these two intersect at this particular position and the value at this particular position is 121 so this is how we can fetch specific row and specific column so what if we want to select first two rows and roll number in that case what we can do df dot loc 0 to 1 I need both first and second rows and I want roll number. So here I will get roll numbers indexed at row 0 and row 1, right? It's 120 and 121. Hope it is clear, right? So there is another way of fetching multiple rows using loc. So how we can do that? I can say df dot loc without using slice and dice. I can say 0, comma 1. Okay. But this will return me an error. Again, it's the same classical example as I uh, demoed you, right? So earlier. So this will try to find 0, 1 together as a row index, but we do not have that. So for this to understand in a better way, what we have to do? We have to enclose this in a list. df dot loc of 0, 1. So if we want to pass multiple indices for the rows, you have to enclose that within a list internally. So this now will fetch me rows at 0th index and 1st index. Okay, So let us see that. So now we have the required records. right? So what if I want to uh, select name and roll number from first two rows. So for that what I can do, I can say df dot loc of 0, 1. I want the records from 0th and 1st index and I want the columns. What are those columns? Roll number and I need to specify it in a list because I am specifying more than one column name in this, right? So that is roll number and name. So in this case, I will get only those two columns for the first two rows. So this is how you can make use of loc for fetching the data from data frame, okay? With respect to uh, some rows, multiple rows, one row, single row, and all the columns, single column, multiple columns. You have seen all. And one interesting thing you can do is you can also use this slicing method as I showed you for the rows for the columns also. Okay, so let me show that to you. df dot lock of let's say I want rows from zero to one, and I want the columns from roll num or uh, I want the column from name to result. So how I can do that? Starting the column with name, I want the column till result including result. So if I execute this, I'll get this particular result. So what what is what it's telling? What I'm asking uh, Python to do it? I'm asking pandas to fetch me the records at zeroth and first index, starting from zeroth index, traverse till first index, and in those two row indices, I want only columns starting with name and traverse all the way through result, including result. So in this case. Our data frame ends here. After result, there are no more columns, right? So I will get these two columns. So what if I want to get the columns, roll number and name for first two records? So 
so all i have to do is the same thing instead of uh, roll number and name instead of name and result i will say roll number and name okay so this will return me the required data frame so what happens if i change this order here so let's say i am asking it to print result through name will it be able to successfully fetch me the records no it won't because it tries to go from result till name so it can only traverse forward okay so it cannot traverse in the back direction so that's why i am not seeing any result here okay so hope that's clear so when you are slicing with loop for the columns you need to keep in mind the order of the columns okay so this is about look let's now talk about i look okay so i look so we will see more about look i look when i when i will be talking about filtering the data frame with some filter conditions okay but these are the basics if you understand this you will be able to handle any pandas filtering operation okay on data frames so now let's see about i look so as i told you i log stands for integer location right so i log stands for integer location so one thing to note here is so let me just tell you guys and also highlight it here so even though you can see the column names here right so roll number name and result so these are our given column names given by us for our understanding in a easy way correct but internally what pandas does they will assign the column index also as 0 1 2 okay so now you think 0 1 2 row index 0 1 2 column index correct at 0 0 we have 120 at 0 1 we have abc at 0 2 we have pass similarly at 1 0 we have 1 2 1 One one we have x y z, one two we have fail, right? Similarly at two zero location we have one two two, two one location we have p q r, and two two location we have pass with distinction. So this is what actual internal representation of the pandas data frame looks like. Okay, so internally everything will be represented with numbers. Okay, the column names are just for our understanding, but internally the index indices are always represented with the help of numbers so i look actually makes use of the internal representation of the indices rather than the names specified by us okay now we will see how we can work with i look okay so so similar to what we have done in uh, look let's see how we can work with i look so df dot i look if i want to select first row it's simple df dot i look of 0 i'll get the same result as i got for look but the things change here when i am trying to access the column okay so let's say i want to access first record and column roll number right if i do this it will give me the error why it will give me the error because i look doesn't understand any user specified names here so roll number is our user specified name but i look doesn't try doesn't understand it and it fails to locate it so the error is location based indexing can only have integer right so it should be compulsorily integer so how we can resolve this error we can say df dot i look of 0 comma 0 so now i'll get my data that is present at the location 0 comma 0 so which is 120 okay so similar to slice and dice we have observed in loc we can apply the same thing in i loc but there is a twist again so let's see what is that df dot i loc of let's say i want to select the record from 0 to 1 okay so 0 to 1 so what happened here this one got excluded so in case of loc the end index was inclusive but in case of i loc the end, end index is excluding okay in loc it was inclusive in i loc it is excluded so if we, if i want to select first two records first two rows i need to specify 
one additional index so that that will be excluded and we will get the records max minus up to the rows of max minus 1 index okay so 0 to 2 minus 1 records we will see 0 to 1 so that's that's why we are able to see first two records when we specify the index from 0 to 2 so this is 0th index 0 this is first index and this is second index right so this is the important thing you need to remember with respect to loc and iloc so that's the only that's the another difference the first difference is loc iloc takes only integer indexing whereas loc can take the user specified indexing names okay so that's the first difference the second difference is when using slice and dice method within loc and iloc loc considers both min and max index as inclusive iloc considers the max index as exclusive so this will exclude iloc will exclude the max index and returns the records one index less than what we specify there okay so this is how iloc works so suppose we want to select uh, we, if we do not want to use the slicing method similar to what we have seen in loc we can do the same thing in iloc okay so iloc and as usual we have to specify it in list comma again let us say I want to select first two columns so for that 0 to 2 so, so I think I made a mistake here if I specify the slicing here right I should I need not to give that within a list okay so that will internally will take it as a list and then return as the data frame here so similar to this if you want to use it without using any slice and dice operation the columns also we can specify what all columns we want so in this case 0 comma 1 okay right so this is how we can work with loc and iloc so hope this is clear so let me see if i have left anything in order to explain so that you are not worried on the basics okay so I have shown that. Okay, yeah. So this is good enough for understanding loc and iloc, the main difference and uh, when we can use iloc and loc. Okay. So in my next video, I'll talk about filtering the records, and then we will move on to much complex operations such as updating the data frame with different values, adding a new column, adding an entire row in an already created data frame, etc. Okay. So, hope you guys are liking the content. Please give it a thumbs up if you do so and share it among your peers. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe. Till we see in the next video. Happy learning. Bye-bye.